Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Pastor Jamel, and it is time for the word. Now, we are in day five of a six part series titled The Purpose of Pain. Every day we talk about a different purpose for pain as it relates to what we go through in life. So with all that being said, let's jump right into day five and the fifth P for the purpose of pain. The fifth P for the purpose of pain is that pain pays a price. Once again, pain pays a price. So everything that we do, every decision that we make, every action that we take has a cost. My mother used to say to me all the time, son, there's nothing in life for free. And so everything has a cost. And if there is a cost, then there must be a price that has to be paid. Now, this video will be way too long if I went through all of the things that pain could pay the price for. But one of the things that we see very clearly in the Bible is that pain pays the price for sin. In the Old Testament in the Bible, we see several examples of individuals making sacrifices to God to pay the price for sin. There was even an offering called the sin offering. Now this offering and this sacrifice could be done for an individual, or for a community. But ultimately, that sacrifice paid the price of sin for that individual or for that group. Now, while there was pain, of course, on the part of whatever was being sacrificed, there's also an element of pain as it relates to the individual making the sacrifice. See, you couldn't just choose any animal to sacrifice. I mean, if so, I would probably choose a cow or a bull that's on its last leg. It's gonna die anyway, pretty soon. So that's what I'll give. I'll, I'll give this old, um, almost about to die bull as a, as a sacrifice to God, as a payment for the price of sin. But there were very specific animals that had to be used. Sometimes it would be uh, a female goat, which would affect the amount of milk that we could mate for our family or a young male bull who could impregnate several other cows and increase my livestock which was a, a kind of a sign of you know how well you're doing is by how much livestock you had and so there was an element of pain as it relates to the individual making the sacrifice but the sacrifice the pain of that sacrifice pay the price for the cost of sin. We see that even more in the New Testament when Jesus comes and pays the ultimate price to pay for the sins of the world. And I would imagine there's also an element of pain on the individual making the sacrifice. We see in John 3.16 that it says, it begins with, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. The idea of giving your only son to pay the price for the sins of the world, I could imagine was difficult at best. And so pain pays the, pri pays the price for sin. Now, I don't want to get too deep in the woods around sin. At some point in time in the future, I plan on doing a series probably titled The Truth About Sin. But for now, we know that pain and the pain of sacrifice pays the price for sin. But there are so many other things that pain can pay the price for. Like pain pays the price to break the chains of generational curses. Some of the pain that we're experiencing right now could be to break the chain of a generational curse that's in our bloodline. I mean, you working through the pain of depression and changing meds and going to therapy and maybe sometimes being ostracized from family, working through that pain could be paying the price that's going to free your children in the future. And so pain can pay the price to break generational curses. 
pain can also pay the price for pride. And the Bible says that pride goes before a fall. And for anyone that has ever failed, whether physically or emotionally or from a status standpoint, you know that a fall hurts. There's a great deal of pain surrounding a fall. But we've all known individuals who have maybe been high on the horse, things are going very well, they look down their nose at people, they judge people, and then something happens that they experience pain. And it quite often is the beginning of a path to humility for them. They begin to be more compassionate and empathic and pain paid that price for them. You know, when we first started this series, during the introduction video, I shared with you all a story about how just about two months ago, I had double transplant surgery, that I received a kidney and a pancreas at the same time. And after the initial surgery, things appeared to be going well. The doctors continuously told me that my lab work and the blood that they had taken, all of those things were looking great. But I was in a great deal of pain and it was getting worse every day. I mean, I've never had surgery before, so I have no idea how much pain you should be after you should be in after surgery. But I knew that something wasn't right. So after the doctors kind of listened to me and did another ultrasound, they found that something was wrong with the pancreas and then rushed me back into the operating room to do an emergency uh, procedure to open me back up and see what was happening with the pancreas. Once they got inside, they saw that the pancreas had begun to die inside of me. And not only die inside of me, but it had begun to kill a portion of my bowel to which they had connected it. See, the pain of losing the pancreas ultimately paid the price for my health and for my life. Now, understand that I desperately wanted the pancreas. It was the thing that was going to change my life so that I wouldn't be diabetic anymore. But the sacrifice of the pancreas is what helped increase my health and probably ultimately saved my life. Pain pays a price. And even in the Bible, we saw that that price could be paid for an individual or for others. The pain that we are experiencing is paying a price. Now, I don't know what price is paying for you or for what purpose. That will be something that you'd have to pray for discernment about. But pain pays a price for sin, to break generational curses, for health and life. I pray that this message blessed you today. If it did, please like and share the video so that hopefully it will do the same for others. And then come by tomorrow to see the sixth and final day of the purpose of pain. I love you all. Grace and peace. Be blessed.